Drian Paisley. Number three, Mr. Speaker. Minister Rabethan. Question: I will answer questions three and seven together. We have worked hard with the executive to adapt our reforms flexibly to the circumstances of Northern Ireland. These reforms will ensure that work always pays and helps lift people out of poverty by moving them into work. When fully implemented, universal credit will make around three million low- to middle-income households across the UK better off. Okay. Thank the Minister for his answer. The number of people living in poverty has increased from 18% in 2002 to 22% in 2013. In reality, that means one in four people in Ulster live and earn on a salary which falls below the basic standard of living. Can the Minister take the opportunity now to give us an assurance that the cuts, the deeper and further cuts talked about by the Chancellor of the Exchequer, will not force more people into poverty in Northern Ireland? Well, Mr Speaker, I'm not in a position to know what uh, further cuts to the be- welfare be- budget the Chancellor Exchequer may be planning. What I'd say th- is this, that Northern Ireland receives over a quarter more in government spending per head of the population compared to constituencies such as mine in England and indeed all English constituencies. Uh, it is a fact that Nelson McCausland has specifically said that, um, if I can find here, that more people will be lifted out of poverty by universal credit, and indeed children will be li- t- some 10,000 children will be lifted out of poverty, which I th- I'm sure the honourable gentleman will welcome. We are not immune to understanding the concerns of people, but we believe it is work that will bring prosperity in Northern Ireland, not welfare. Great.